All right, guys, let's do this. What up? It's JoJo on the radio. This is the iHeartRadio countdown, and I've never met this guy up until like two seconds ago. He rolls up on my Zoom. Um, Mask Wolf, first of all, how are you? And uh, where, where are you at right now? I'm looking at you on Zoom. What, what the heck's going on here? My Zoom says I'm in space, but my body tells me I'm in Sydney, Australia. <laughs> and, and how are you, man? You Everything good? I'm good. I'm good. It's uh, 8.30 a.m., and it's a great day. So Goodness gracious. Definitely the time zone, the time changes, the time difference between us, LA and Australia is, is pretty wild. Um, we, we got lots to chat about. I mean, Mask Wolf, this track is just blowing up, of course. Uh, real quick, just a broad question. How has this pandemic experience been for you, man? I'm, I'm sure you're going nuts like the rest of us. Hopefully we're on the tail end of it at this point, but how's this whole experience been for you? To be honest, I mean, I hate saying this, but for me, it was very easy um super grateful to like be in australia and like we handled a lot of it a lot i wouldn't say we handled it a lot better than other places but our, our population isn't as big you know what i mean and right. uh for me being in sydney i was still working full time so i was doing work and music still and i was only in lockdown for two weeks and i was straight back into work at the office um so like it's a lot different yeah I was talking to a, uh, a, a, uh, an Australian, a, a fellow Australian, what do you, Australian is Australianers fellow Australian fellow Aussie. Yeah. Fellow, yeah. Fellow Aussie. Oh, there we go. That's the word I'm looking at. Fellow Aussie uh, tones from tones and I, and I'll get yeah. into this later in the countdown, but you guys are basically at this point, pretty much back to back to absolute normal tours and everything. Right. Yeah. Like we've had a festival in the last three weeks. Um, oh, Lord. Yes. <laughs> uh, what What are you working on right now? I assume you got a body of music because you're always in the studio. I mean, not without even knowing you, you're all you you live in the studio. You're mm -hmm. working on something constantly. I assume we have a body of music, an album, EP, something like that in the works. Yeah, or I was just working on a song before I joined this Zoom that I just found. So you sparked you sparked some greatness. Oh, really? So yeah, I, I was about to say that did, did I maybe I, I put a pause because if you were working on something great, then I jump in. I'm slowing yeah. down. I'm slowing down your progress, basically. But I no, I, no. I was calling it water to ice, basically about uh, hardening up and toughening up for the situation. So for me, it's uh, a bunch of new songs, which I'm just telling you about now, uh, like literally just working on them uh, before I joined. But it's I'm a big quality over quantity person. So if I make three songs in a week, but I know they're all, they all can go on the album. I'd much rather do that than make 20 and two of them go on the album and like waste that type of energy. Um, obviously like albums, very important to me at the moment and having like singles that match, I guess the Astro quality and like professionalism of that side and always having a message to my song is what I'm focusing on. And then obviously we're trying to tour as well, but COVID's COVID. And when that time comes that then we're, we're off on the plane. Are you looking at a certain time frame to release an album or just when it's ready, it's ready type of a thing. I mean, I like that idea. I, I hate the idea of uh, deadlines, to be honest. I really, really dislike the thought of deadlines and like forcing things out. But uh, for me, it'll be like, and, and I'd be happy with end of year. Uh, explain, if you don't mind, the, uh, and I'm sure you're probably sick of uh, talking about this, but that the, the name Mask Wolf, how you came mm. up with that? Um, for me, it was like, I guess I didn't really tell a lot of people about my music, but if you like saw me in the street, you wouldn't be like, he's a rapper or he looks like he does music or anything. And I kind of always felt like I was a different person outside of the studio. Um, and for me, I, I sort of stress in my songs that I, I feel like a lot of my life, I had a mask on, like I wasn't my true self. Um, but when I got into the studio, like the mask came off and the wolf, the beast came out. And it so was do you like, feel, do you feel more at home? in this because i have a similar i feel thing. more at home in the studio yeah, yeah it's similar to me on the radio you, you would think a shy dude an introvert wouldn't be on the radio as well because it's just yeah. you know you think there's some crazy life of the party but that's not me i feel yeah. like i feel at times more at home in the studio and just sort of you know like I, i'm hesitant to order something at starbucks because i'm nervous to, it's just weird i don't know you probably i guess you kind of yeah. understand what i'm it's saying it's just like it's like when you walk in you're like it's like that breath of fresh air you're like i'm home you know right. what i mean so um for me like i'm not a very like i don't go out and party all the time and i'm social and i'm going to all these places that's not me i'm i can be introverted and extroverted at the same time but like my true like habitat is is the studio you just signed if i if i understand correctly a new record deal at the top of uh 21 here 2021 
And mm. that's a big deal for, for an artist signing, signing the deal. Walk me through that moment. You know, who was there? Was it an in-person meeting or virtual? Like, give me every little detail that you can that stands out. So it was all uh, Zoom based, which is fun. Um, <laughs> right. And basically, uh, I signed with Electra, who's under Warner Music. And I think, uh, like, for memory, like, they were very emphatic or emphasizing the point of developing the artist rather than just focusing like, yes, they're going to focus on astronaut in the ocean. And yes, it's, you know, an amazing record, but there was also a part of like developing me and focusing on what's coming out next. And that's why I like really resonated with them. Um, and that finished up, that was around Christmas time into January of 21. Um, and then I just, you know, we pulled the trigger and I mean, I took it as a really big blessing for an Australian artist to be able to sign with the, you know, major U S label. So it was it was all steam you know i had full steam ahead that's pretty crazy was your heart pounding as you had the pen to the paper so to speak yeah, assuming it was a real pen not a digital pen you know what first it was a digital pen it was the digital <laughs> <laughs> but second of all i've been in like sales ever since i came out of school so like i've, I've all been working full time for 11 years and the one thing i learned in sales was to never never ever get excited until either the money's been transferred or this both signatures have been hand done and the deal sorted. So I was like, my manager was like, yeah, it's done. I'm like, no, it's not. And he's like, what do you mean? And I'd be like, well, until this happens and then this happens, I'll then go celebrate because I know how things can turn out. And I was like trying to be patient about it, but yeah, it's all happened now. Hey, uh, Australia. We talked about this for a quick sec earlier. You yeah. guys are back to uh, live shows. You know, you guys have handled COVID so well uh, festivals. So I assume clearly you are, you're planning if you haven't already, uh, live shows in the near future, correct? I performed three weeks ago in Gold Coast in wow. front of a, there was an 8,000 crowd split in between. So 4,000 each. Um, and that was, that was pretty fun. That was crazy to see like people bunched up together as much as like, it was just like, Hey, are we in a different world? And, uh, for me, like I'm, I'm doing some, another festival in two weeks time. So it's crazy to think that, you know, the rest of the world or a lot of the rest of the world is still like in lockdown and not being able to do this stuff. And then we're out here, you know, as a group and like just partying. But It's like you're telling me science fiction here. It's so crazy. Yeah. I'm in LA and granted we're, you know, things are loosening up and yeah, yeah, I can yeah. see the light at the end of the tunnel, but to, and like, just let, just, I, I sound crazy asking this question to you, but they were out there in the audience going crazy, no mask, just living like it was 2019. Is that kind of what you're telling me? Yes. Wow. And, uh, I had I had a special like uh, thing with interaction with the crowd where I was like, when I say F, you say COVID. And like everyone dislikes COVID. So it was a good way to like just really throw it into COVID's face. That could be a title for the album if you're looking for my opinion. <laughs> but, uh, everybody has, I think everybody has an album that changed mm -hmm. their life. Maybe it's a single for some, but for, for example, Thriller, Michael changed my life as a kid. It really just, I was like, wow, what is this? What yeah. album did it for you? Uh, Kanye West, My Beautiful Dark Twisted Fantasy. Do you recall, like, get, walk me through hearing that for the first time? I mean, time. I, I remember just on the production side of things, it was like, I can't believe this guy has done it all. Um, because I was like inspired by creativity a lot. I love just cre the creative side of things. And when I hear a song, I'm not just hearing lyrics. I'm hearing like the little snares and the hi-hats and that three seconds of like a role that no one else would care about. Like I hear the intricate things and like that, ha that had songs like, um, I think Runaway may have been on it, but it had songs like uh, Monster with Nicki Minaj, which is like one of her best verses I've ever heard her do. It had like flashing lights with Rihanna. Like it was like some of his all time best songs were on that album. And there was like a connection and I'm always big on connections and a message and having a flow. So for me, that album was like easily my inspiration. Uh, let's do this track, man. Astronaut in the Ocean. This song has such a unique uh, vibe to it. I mean, what else, what can you say? What do people need to know about this track? Aside from the obvious, it's just a, it's just a, it's, it's, it's it, dude. I mean, um, one thing like maybe people don't realize that everything I speak about is about me in there. That's also, uh, I think like a very valuable point to make because, uh, you know, some people value the message being about the actual artist and what they speak about being about them. For me, I think like the whole point of like feeling out of place was like a necessary topic 
Um, because I feel like a lot of people in this world feel like they're out of place, but they don't want to talk about it. They're too afraid to talk about it. And the whole point of me making the song was showing that like, it was time to like open up about how I felt. Uh, along with being an artist, man, you are a, uh, a fan. So I'm curious, what is the mm. best live performance you've ever seen? I'll get to your shows in a second, but best mm. live show that just hit you for a loop. It was just like, wow, this is something else. 50 Cent when I was 18 or 19 years old. I got to watch him come to Sydney and I was like in awe. It was like just watching it on the, it was like a movie mo moment. You know what I mean? Like he was one of my idols, like G Unit were a massive idol for me, like a group and an influence. And uh, just to see him live and come out, it was like I was, I was being like casted in a movie with him and I was like a part of the, the filming. Wow. Have you met him uh, yet at all? Or No, no. If I met him, I'd die internally. Oh, man. All right. One of these days, let's put that in the universe. That'd be, God, to, to, let's let's talk crazy. Let's talk collab at some point. Would that not be just, <laughs> yeah, forget about it. Um, yeah. What, what do you consider your best performance? Talk about that. And then the complete flip of it, as awful as this is, mm -hmm. your worst performance ever. So one where everything went right and the other where yeah. everything went straight to hell. My best is easily just what I did like a few weeks ago, the festival in front of about 4,000. I feel like I was, it was the one moment I thought I'd be nervous and actually wasn't. And I just like really enjoyed the moment, um, which was in Gold Coast. It was called Lunar Music Festival. But my worst performance, uh, you're going to love this. <laughs> so I was like, I think I was like 15 or 16 or 18 around there. And, you know, like X Factor, I'm right. obviously, you know, X Factor. I went and auditioned and I was really, really, really nervous. Like, I mean, sweating, palms going, everything like you can think of, heart palpitating. And the worst thing about it is you have to wait like two to three hours to like audition. And I remember going in and I'm like, just was like, okay, what's going on? Like, I couldn't even think. And I started performing and I remember I was stuffing up so much, right? I was just choking, completely choking, like, the amount of times I just stopped rapping and then kept going was, and uh, when I finished, this is what I said to them. I go, when I finished, I was like, oh, so you know, when you heard those gaps, just to let you know, they were swear words and I didn't want to say them. <laughs> <laughs> just to play it off. And uh, yeah, from there on, I was like, oh man, that was really bad. But oh, uh, no, I kept please, going. Please let that tape not surface at all. Yeah. Or has it been floating around? No, thank you. Thank God. Hey, what's the story about uh, when Astronaut in the Ocean, it first came out, and then uh, Patrick Mahomes from the Kansas City Chiefs, he used the song in an IG post, which yeah. I guess that moment really shot the song to another level. Walk about that. You know, talk about that, that moment, if you can. I mean, his videographer hit me up, um, and the message in the Instagram was, hey, man, I'm the official videographer for Patrick Mahomes we want to use your song. And I thought it was a joke. I actually thought it was a joke. I didn't believe like, him. Get out I just, of here, cause, Cause some people hit me up and they talk a lot of like fiction, let's say. Um, and I didn't be like, I'll oh, get out of here. It was more like, uh, Oh yeah, man, no worries. Yeah, sure. That sounds great. Awesome. And I just left it. And then like a week or two weeks later, my manager's like, did the videographer for Patrick Mahomes hit you up? I'm like, was that actually the real videographer? And he's like, yeah, man. <laughs> and I was, I felt like the biggest idiot. And um, then that's how it happened. Like it came out and I was like, this is nuts. Like I never expected I should have reached that level where like a celebrity or a, a high tier athlete would be, you know, putting it out. And that, that his post made a, uh, a pretty sizable difference. Did it not? Yeah. I mean, there was a lot. I mean, he's got about 4 million followers for memory. So I mean, it's just crazy, like, what that can do for a song. I mean, it's basically an easy one to two million people just getting to hear your song for, That's pretty for free for me. Yeah, so. True or false, you live uh, 15 minutes away from the Kid Leroy, but you've never, I don't think you've met yet, or have you? True, in regards to 15 minutes, and then we haven't met, yeah. We you have not met. met. What? What's? Can't you just walk, I mean, uh, COVID is completely, you know, open, you mm. could theoretically walk or drive 15 mm. minutes down the road and just kind of say, Hey, what's up? We're two major. I think he's in LA now though. So I think like, 
I think his when he became like he got his recognition, Astro wasn't wasn't hadn't blown up yet. And it's funny because yesterday in the studio, I was I was in the studio making music, and the guys in the studio next to me were doing something for Kid Leroy, and I was like popping my head through the window, like, "Yo, is he in there? What, yeah. I'm gonna, I want to walk in there, and be like, what up, what up?" Um, but for me, like, uh, yeah, I want it to happen. I reckon he's very talented, and we're both Sydney guys. But I, I don't like forcing things, you know. So when it happens, yeah. it happens. What about uh, just tossing? Because I just had a conversation with her just within the last 24 hours. Um, Tones from Tones and I. Now, she's from Melbourne, I believe. Mm -hmm. But uh, have you guys connected, being the fact that you're both from Australia? Well, she's actually under the same label as me, under Electra as well. You have met. So you guys are. No, No? we we haven't met. Dude. (laughs) But I just wanted wanted to give you that information that she's (laughs) under the same label but no i mean um she's she's in her own lane i'm in my own lane and she's very busy i mean her song went number one in the in the world and like did massive streams so as i said like i don't want to rush things and be like just because i'm getting recognized i need to work with this 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 person like if there's something in the works it'll happen and if not like you know let the ball ball fall where it may uh true or false man i'm dropping all these true or false questions on you when you uh record you lay down and maybe it's different every time, but uh, here's the urban legend. We'll call it that. You do seven seven different vocal tracks, and then you mix and match. You know what what kind of works? Is that is there any truth to that at all? It seems like, like BS. Who do you know? Who do you know? How did you get this information? Uh, I have my sources. Uh, Mask Wolf. I have my sources. Okay, so that's I true. T- I I will tell you that even for some songs, it would be more than that. Do you go for, like, if you laid it down perfectly the first time, you'll still do Yeah, seven, still do more. At least seven. What what started that? Like, what made, why is seven the magic number? I mean, it's not it's not always just seven. I mean, but we're definitely doing more, more than seven, I'd say. I mean, it's just about, uh, you know, you never know what's going to, I mean, to you and me, it might be the best, but how do you know it can't be better than the best? You know what I mean? It's, it's a weird way of putting it. So, yeah. Um, there's like, would you rather have more ammo in the gun or, or just go with the one bullet and, you know, that's it and hope to hit the bullseye, you know? I'm kind of so. with you there. I mean, I, I think there's a point where I, I start to overthink things. So when am I improving yeah. it versus when am I overthinking it? Yeah. But it's, again, it's actually not me though. It's like my engineer being like, yo, that was a really good take, but I think we can get one better. And then I'll get one better and he'll be like, yo, that's two really good takes, but I want to see if we can get that magic one. And that happens like 10 times. <laughs> There you go. Well, that's if, if it's if it ain't broke, don't fix it. It's clearly working. I start recording at home. I've started recording at home now, so I'm like trying to take that emphasis on where I'd be like, "What would he say after I did this take?" He'd probably say, "Can you give me another one?" Yeah, Make another seventeen. Yeah. There we go. What is the most awkward, unusual place you've been asked for a selfie? No, there actually hasn't been anywhere awkward. Like for for, for from a photo from a fan. Yeah, you, you, you haven't had the, you haven't had the, uh, I haven't, actually yeah. haven't had, the, I, I, to be honest, I haven't had these like moments yet. Like I've been asked for photos in Sydney recently, but like that whole process and that, like, whatever you want to call it, fame or the, Hey man, we want to, we want to just get a picture with you. It hasn't really kicked off yet. That's a fair point because COVID has kept you, the song is just now really exploding. Yeah. And yeah. COVID has kept things on the, on a lockdown. Although I kind of assumed that being in Australia, you guys are, much more wide open but are you okay yeah. are you ready for that side of it I yeah like yeah i love i love interacting with fans and i do like live videos on instagram and stuff so like interaction with me is key and i'm sure there'll be a awkward selfie photo that i can tell you about in within the next 12 months time uh yeah here, here's your assignment if you don't mind me tossing a few <laughs> things at you uh say any weird moments with fans i love crazy fan encounters and yeah. i'm a big fan of the paranormal so if, uh, okay. you know, when the tours kick in, if they could book you in some nice hotels, mm-hmm. but some, some hotels with some history, with some haunts to them, that would be awesome. I'll book it for you and I'll go to a normal hotel. Thanks. <laughs> All right. Of course. Uh, yeah. Quick recap. Astronaut in the ocean. It is out. Get on this track. If you're not already, you're, you're I don't know what you're, what you're doing. Uh, album coming out relatively soon. Details on that coming up, of course. Uh, what am I forgetting to ask you? What, what is, uh, I must be missing something. I mean, I get a lot like, uh, how would I, what would be like the one word that describes me as an artist, which I think is like uh, important, which I say authentic. 
I like being known as like very original and authentic and like everything that you hear from me is not just uh, fiction. It's all about me and my life and the message of like how I feel. Um, and, and really like I've always stressed that I don't want to be a one hit wonder. Um, that's something that I want. Like I do have other songs out obviously with astronaut in the ocean, but like uh, for the follow-ups, I want to show like I'm, I'm here to stay and like cement myself in the, in the ground. Mass Wolf, it's a real pleasure to meet you. Thank, Thank you for you. hanging out. Can't wait to meet you in, uh, in person at some point. You know, maybe L.A., we, we, I would love to meet and say, have a drink. Who knows? Hoping to be there soon.